Okay guys, I'm back. Hey guys, so I'm here for a hair video today. I know I look crazy, but this wig that I'm about to finesse is so gorgeous. And it was sent to me from RPG Show. So, this is actually the bag that it came in, which is so cute because it's kind of like, makes it easy for you to like transport your wig. You can just put it in here, zip it up, and it won't really get messed up at all. So, I love this little packaging. And then they also sent me a wig cap. They sent me two of these. I am not using a wig cap today though because I'm not gonna be gluing down my wig. I'm gonna just be using hairspray. Um, and trying to make it more glueless than anything. So no wig cap today because when I tried the wig cap, I put it on, it just, because this is transparent lace, you can see the wig cap like clear as day. So we're not doing wig cap today. The name of this wig is the Crown 011. It has a silky texture. It is 18 inches. Oh my God, this stuff. <laughs> And it's tinted transparent Swiss lace. That's a tongue twister. And I got it in the medium round shade, so it'll match me. So I got the first cap size, which is 21.5 to 22 inches, because I have kind of a smaller head. And so all, I'm just reading off the paper. And then also it has highlights on the side, which you'll be able to see in a second. They're so cute. And yeah. I mean, for it to be 18 inches, honestly, it seems longer. Doesn't it seem longer than 18 inches? For me, it came curled, by the way. But for me, it seems like like 20, 20 to 22 inches for me. Because, like, I don't know. I But it says 18 inches, so I'm fine with that. It's pre-plucked and pre-bleached, so I didn't have to do anything to this wig. And now, I'm only going to have to put hairspray on it. So... Let's just see how I'm going to finesse this wig. I took my scissors. I have these handy dandy scissors right here. These are gorgeous scissors, by the way. <laughs> but I took my scissors and I went ahead and cut little slits so that it should be easier for me to lay this wig down. Usually how I do my wigs is I'll actually spray the hairspray directly onto the wig instead of onto my skin. I know that sounds weird, but that's usually how I do it. But in this case, I think I'm going to try to spray it onto my skin, um, and then I'm going to use a scarf to tie it down. So we'll see how that turns out. So I'm just kind of lifting it up to where my hairline is, taking my hairspray, and shake it up a little bit. And this does go on, I'm putting this directly on my hairline, but I still have my edges. As long as you know how to take your wigs off, you should be fine. <laughs> see that so I'm just gonna do that to the other side too and then I'm gonna lay it down also I just want to apologize for the lighting really quick because it is so gloomy outside there is not a lick of Sun in sight but it's okay so the hair the hair is stuck on and now we're gonna cut the lace So I look crazy right now, but I went ahead and cut the excess lace off 
and you see like where I did it. Now I'm gonna respray the hairspray and then we'll be done. <laughs> and then I just have to style the hair. And at this point, you could probably start getting ready to style your baby hairs, but I hate baby hairs, if you didn't know that already about me. So I'm going to leave the scarf on. The scarf is from Lush, actually. Um, I'm going to leave the scarf on for a few minutes, and then you can even blow dry the, like, the lace while the scarf's on to, to make it dry faster. And then when I take it off, we will be um, ready to style the hair. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's dry. So let's take it off. Okay, guys. So I just wanted to tell you a little secret. This actually probably is the easiest wig application I've ever had. And I think it has to do with the lace being so thin because it is transparent lace. I didn't have to worry about like nothing's lifting which is surprising for me because that always happens when the lace is thicker but because it's transparent I feel like it's really like staying down it's all it's, it's fabulous but if you notice that you have any like right white residue or hairspray residue this is a sponge but you can take like a uh, a washcloth or something you get it wet and then you just kind of will dab or you'll wipe away the residue and when you're wiping away the residue with the wet sponge or or the wet um, washcloth you're gonna want to have a blow dryer close by to just like blow dry that section so it, it doesn't start to lift so that's a little tip but this is this is it so this is what the hair looks like gorgeous gorgeous highlights you guys see those highlights so pretty so like from here to here you can part it anywhere and then you can part it on the sides here but you don't get six inches there you only get like three inches there so if you're parting it like right here on the side you'll get six inches of parting space if you're parting it in the center you'll get six inches if you're parting the hair like right in this section you're only gonna get like two to three inches of parting space so just so you guys know it's definitely versatile like I could do this and don't really have to worry about anything now to cover up any of the residue uh, from the hairspray or whatever or if it's like a white cast you can see a little bit of powder will fix that really quickly but honestly like I don't even really want to style the hair because I like how it already is I think it looks kind of perfect as is I don't really want to do anything to it so the highlights just make it so pretty like you guys see a little bit of blonde a little bit of brown so gorgeous I just feel so fabulous wearing this hair. I feel so cute. And then I also feel like, okay, maybe you should make a part in the hair, Jocelyn. <laughs> but it's so cute. Like, I don't even want to touch it. I don't. I just, this, this laid down so easily. So you see I have all that, like, residue. So I'll just take my sponge. And I'll just, like, wipe that away. But then that means I have to take my foundation. I'll take my beauty blender. And I'm not wanting to apply much powder on the lace because the more powder that you apply on the lace, the less it's going to look transparent. Do you get, does that make sense? Like, you really shouldn't apply that much stuff to the lace if you want it to blend properly. I almost forgot to show you guys something. So, RPG show 
works with hairstylist so when you get a wig a lot of the times there will be like a celebrity hairstylist that has designed this wig they have cospens that makes a few wigs who else they work with sean fears oh i love him anthony cuts for a couple of them ah uh, look at all these gorgeous gorgeous hairstyles so they work with hairstylists and it says hairstylist affiliate program rpg show has been in the lace industry for 14 years our goal has been to offer more diverse hairstyles currently they're seeking professional hairstylists who would like to partner and design wigs for their customers so some of these wigs that you're getting have been designed by celebrity hairstylists the quality is good you know I love this. I love the color. Personally, I've never had a wig like this. I'm like obsessed. There's so much body. I'm so <laughs> Can you tell I'm like obsessed with this wig? Oh my gosh, so nice. And it's quality hair. You're paying for quality. This is not like your average cheap wig like this wig it's gonna cost you a few coins but for me personally i always kind of spend in like the four or five hundred dollar range for my wigs so in my opinion this is the same type of wig that i would pay like four or five hundred dollars for and it costs around that much you're paying for quality and you're actually getting quality so I would love to know if you order this wig and how it comes and how you like it. Anyways. <laughs> oh my god, it looks so pretty. I will have all the details on this hair linked below for you in case you guys want to buy it. Everything you need to know about this wig will be in the description box below. But I have to go now. Talk to you soon. Okay guys, so it has been almost a week since I got my wig and since you saw the first half of this video where I was applying it onto my head. Within that time, I have literally become even more obsessed with this hair. I still love the hair. I find it to be absolutely gorgeous. These highlights are honestly so pretty. And they just do something for me like I feel like they make me look more alive <laughs> I don't know why but I really really love these highlights because the lace is so thin you know the lace for this wig is so thin I take my wigs off at night I reapply them in the morning with hairspray and it still applies really, really easily. However, I have kind of come up with a few tips and tricks for applying wigs, but that will be in a different video. Um, because the first way you saw me apply the wig is how I like to do it sometimes, but that can be a bit messy. So I have a couple uh, alternative ways that I'll show you guys in a, my next Get Ready With Me. I digress. When it comes to this hair, there's a couple of things that make this hair like really effortless to put on. The thin lace does it for me the thin lace makes this wig so easy to put on the combs there's a comb right here and there's a comb right here because these combs are right here in the perfect spot it almost kind of does the work for you because the combs are like right here almost in the front of the wig you kind of just sit the comb where you want the wig to be placed and it takes a little bit less effort to apply the wig after you do that the wig however on this section where you see the blonde of course it's absolutely gorgeous i will say it does tangle and it does not hold a curl as perfectly as the sections right here that have no color in them i think that kind of explains itself you know this hair was bleached and you know sometimes when you bleach hair it kind of takes away a little bit of the curling pattern from the hair however the hair still has a lot of volume and body and I still can do 
a lot with it and you know I still feel absolutely fabulous whenever I have this wig on and you know I love that I can do like numerous styles with this hair I can take it and put it in a really flat pony or bun you know if we wanted to do a nice bun we could do that or I could take it and do like I did this the other day I thought it looked really cute half up half down you know situation with like a clip or whatever and then you can just hold on you can just like do that so it looks really really nice and you know this hair has a lot of body and a lot of volume and if you follow me on instagram you're probably annoyed with me by now because this is all i do i just like run my fingers through the hair and i'm constantly touching it because i love how it looks so much now with that being said though this hair does tangle a little bit but i'm gonna be quite honest with you all hair tangles even your natural hair tangles okay <laughs> so this hair does shed but only the smallest amount I probably have had like maybe one or two strands of hair shed so far and if I didn't properly wash and condition the hair it would probably start like you know tangling and shedding more so you really have to just know how to take care of your hair but overall, I really like it. I will say you're probably going to experience a little bit more shedding on the side where it's like blonde and colored than you will on like the non-colored side. That, that's a given. That kind of makes sense. So I just wanted to kind of tell you guys or give you guys this update because it has been a couple of days. Um, probably like six, seven days since I filmed the first video and I'm still very happy and one thing's for sure i don't always have good hair days with this lace so with this hair while the hair is pretty when i apply my wigs some days i have really good wig days where you know it melts perfectly and today it's like really pretty decent but yesterday <laughs> i applied my wig and i filmed a video and i was like oh my god what's going on because it was just like a white cast that I couldn't fix so for me it's very hit or miss some days you're gonna apply your wig and you're gonna look literally like it's growing out of your scalp the next day you'll apply it and you'll see like a little hairspray or white cast you can't have everything all the time okay so with that being said I still really love this hair and you're gonna really see me wear this hair for the next two to three months or more because I really love the craftsmanship and I really love the highlights. I love how thin the lace is. I love how easy it is to apply. I don't know why. I guess I've never had lace this thin before. Maybe once or twice, but never on a wig like this that is so well constructed. So something about this thin lace just makes it apply so much easier. Anyways, with that being said, I just wanted to kind of give you guys this little update a couple days later just to kind of tell you guys how I'm feeling about the wig, show you guys kind of how it looks. Today I applied it with hairspray, so you know, I could fix that. I could like take and fix that like hairspray residue situation, but do I really feel like it's bothering me? No. And I'm going to go to work and I'm going to go and run all my errands and I'm going to still feel fabulous because I know I look good. <laughs> so yeah, all the details will be below for this wig, guys. If you want to buy this wig, all the details and links will be below. And I hope you guys have an amazing day.